Good evening, winners. It's your boy, the action man, coming right back at you. You know what's up. I'm sorry about the scenery. There's not much to see here. You can just pretend this is a beach or something. I'm in a bedroom. I just got back from a date with a girl, which is not the topic of this video. Just wanted to let you guys know. <laughs> Whatever. Cute girl. Very cute girl. Very nice girl. But I want to talk about something else, which is I was talking to, I was, we were talking, me and another guy, or it was a whole group of us, but they got into a conversation of this guy, he met this YouTube influencer. He, he's a big, you know, he met this up with this huge YouTube influencer guy, this fitness guy, right? A couple million subscribers, I think, maybe more. And what's funny is that he could tell that the guy was a bit soft, you know, even though he has big muscles, He's shredded, he, he looks absolutely insane, he has a great physique. Uh, you can tell that he wasn't imposing because he doesn't know how to fight. In the same conversation, another guy who's been over at Tate's house and fought with Andrew Tate, sparred with him, uh, he told him that you could sense it on him that he had that danger to him. And it, it, it is just like that with everyone, you know? You, you can sense that there's some danger to them. And it's such a huge thing. Because the last thing you want to be is harmless. That's the last thing you want to be. You do not want to be an easy prey. You want to be hard to kill. The hard to kill mentality, right? Boom. It's going to take more than one punch to take me out. Right? That's the mentality. So, but it's a, it's a great example because it just goes to show how even with big muscles, good, great physique, right? People can just tell that, okay, there's something off, right? You're missing something. There's this little thing that's missing. And a lot of guys, a lot of the, like these juice heads, they compensate by l trying to look so dangerous with all their tattoos and maybe some piercings and whatever. Right, take a look at me. I don't have a single tattoo. I don't have a single tattoo, not a single piercing, nothing. I'm not fucking dangerous. <laughs> Truly, you know, my right kick, my right kick is it's an absolute shotgun now. I swear, if I just get it a little bit faster, if it lands clean, I'll TKO people with a right kick. It is that powerful. It is a shotgun, truly, it is a shotgun. And it's funny too, because you can't fake this stuff. Like I said with the tattoos, it's like, I can't fake the fact that I've been in the military and in the special forces. People just know when you're lying like that about stuff, especially about this stuff, right? You can't go around and say you're a fighter. People just tell you're a loser who lies about this stuff. You gotta be authentic about it. Uh, another key thing is that for me, I haven't fought for a long time. It's been 10 weeks I've been doing Muay Thai right now. So then, you know, one might argue that that isn't the key component to what makes my aura not harmless. It's the fact that everyone can see and know that, you know, I've been in special forces. I've been, you know, in the military for six years. So maybe that is a part of what creates the aura of not being harmless. I don't know, probably, most likely, People, I get a lot of questions about it. People think it's interesting, right? So yeah, people, people know that, you know, I have the capacity to do serious harm. Not everyone has the capacity to go out there and be six years in the military and, you know, become hard to kill like that. So what you can do is just get in the ring. I mean, you can't cover this stuff up. There's something more, there's an aura about you when you learn how to fight, when you become, you become way more imposing, when you have an aura of actually you not being just harmless. So go and get in your ring, go fight, go hit the heavy bag in the gym. All this stuff, this matters, it helps. And you should know more than just how to lift weights. Because when like push comes to shove, you're gonna need more than just weightlifting to gain respect. So yeah, now you know. If you don't know, now you know. Take care and God bless.